So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night, just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this. The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself. Please tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look, this city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters and great for my campaign. Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Venkman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clown's operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that. Doesn't Peck look exactly like the kind of guy who'd accidentally walk into the stream of a bosun glider? I'm just saying, it, it could happen. Ray and I have been talking. And we think we should have a look at the museum. Whatever happened tonight, it started there. Okay, I'll take one for the team. Stay with Elisa. You guys go with Winston and the recruit. I'll be your personal protection. What about Peck? He's supposed to be informed of everything we do. What he doesn't know can't hurt us. Hey guys, you need to make a detour. Something big is going down. It's on 1010 Winds now. Tune it in. And another ghostly sighting has staff at the New York Public Library scrambling for answers. The Grey Lady. Let's get her for real this time. Well, what about the museum? It's been there for 104 years. Where's it gonna go today? Um, this thing you guys have for the Grey Lady borders on the weird. You know that, right? She made us look like schmucks. Not this time. 
Oh, and another thing. Pat calls and says that I'm required to tell him where you are and what you are up to. Tell him he can meet us at the museum. We'll be there. In the Big crowd. Bankman would love this. Captain McMahon from the 12th says there was a massive disturbance. A real fireworks show. Not much going on now. Maybe. But didn't there used to be two lions out here? Check for valences. Hmm. Interesting. Ray, take a look at this. Wow, big spikes. Hey, cadet, you need to see this. Stand back. Look out! There they go! Whoa! Double full torso animators! Come on! After them! You heard Stance, let's move! There they are! A couple of Class 5 animators. I've never seen them in tandem like that. They're really agitated. Switching on the pack. Hey, he said take it easy. That's not easy. Miss! Damn! Sorry, Z. How about a little warning next time, fellas? That one's a beast, Ray. Let's chase him down. Winston, check that next doorway. See if he has any friends. Leave a haunted room. I got no problem with that. Hey, cadet. To use the shock blaster, it's best to get in fairly close. Its effects are powerful, but dissipate quickly over distance. And please be careful. It's a prototype. We're trusting you with it. The stasis stream will temporarily slow down paranormal entities. If you train the stream on the target long enough, you can actually stop it entirely. This is how you use it. A stasis stream. This has nothing to do with cold, but the effect is similar. When do you have the time to work on all this stuff, Egon? I've been conducting an experiment in which I sleep an average 14 minutes a day. Leaves me a lot of time to work. Great. Ready to roll. Hey, Haas. You think you can handle that little fella yourself? We'll meet you back here. See if you can pick up a signal.
Yeah. <laughs> 